Hi, I'm John Free. Welcome to my messy darkroom in the garage where I print my street photographs. And pretty soon I'm going to be going down to the Ratcho Research Institute and I'm going to be talking about street photography to people who are living with a spinal cord injury. You know, street photography, in my opinion, has a bad name. It's got a bad rap. It implies something dirty or in the gutter or in the street. And in reality, I consider it one of the most sophisticated forms of art that I've ever seen. And I believe that anybody can do it. If I can do it, anybody can do it with a heart and an imagination. And I do it by moving through life with a camera and constantly looking for unique situations in everyday life. Wonderful situations that by combining several elements, details, and factors of the situation in the frame of my camera and with proper timing, I can make a photograph, a visual image that I give out to the rest of the world that may provide a better and compassionate understanding of our lives to other people and to me. And hopefully the people at the Rancho Research Institute will be involved with this as I have been for the past 47 years and find a treasure in it that I have. juggling with life a little bit of this some of this and this and we'll get it over here and we'll wait and boom you've looked into the future the future happened and you took the picture and you say oh my gosh I try to tell people get th three thoughts when you're making a photograph three things that go together okay here we are you know it's a real situation because if they were going to set it up you wouldn't have them carrying a cardboard box see so the cardboard box shows you that this is legit and then he's also built a relationship with the old man over on the right so you got three or four things that he thought of. He's thinking of the box to use it. He could have cropped the box out. You know, he could have gone over that way and made emphasis on just the arms and the old man. But the box uh, states realism to me. Anyway, but he saw all that. You see, he saw the building in the background. He saw this, this, they had to have their legs apart or they're not walking. If they had their legs together in the middle of a walk, it would look like they were standing. He had to think of all that. And then the gesture when they looked at each other, bam! And where'd he put the focus? I'd put it right there on her glasses. Boom! And the old man. You know the old man is there even if he's out of focus. Now there's Gene Smith, the genius of Pittsburgh. Here he's got the whole history. He's got everything that's important in the town in one photograph. Plus, and I didn't see it before, his own self-portrait up there in the upper right. He's got it all. The handshake, the agreement, the deals, the high society women, the buildings, the construction projects. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dr. Jaga Slaczyk. I am the chair of the Department of Medicine at Rancho Los Amigos Hospital and the president of Rancho Research Institute. We are very proud of our photography therapy program for students who are living with spinal cord injury. The program is successful and one of the uh, reasons why it's so successful is because we were able to attract world-renowned photographers to come and um, help us with the program. Today we have John Free, a world-known uh, street photographer who will be providing his critiques and teaching uh, during outing uh, for, for our students. I want to wish everybody a wonderful time and I'm so eager to see the results of the day today. Thank you so much. <music>
I should go ice skating. Photography and this camera is definitely my creative outlet. It gives me the opportunity to get out in society and get out of my house and capture moments through a lens. I've not only that, but I've gotten to travel around the world and capture different moments through my lens, whether it be in Morocco, here in the States. But going through these different places allows me to uh, be more understanding of different cultures and different religions and all of this is because of my camera. Wait, get in. Let's go shoot. You know, now that you're going to be photographers, we have to make it difficult. And I don't mean that in a bad sense. But we're competing with all the great photographers in the world. So my technique is not to just get one element in the photograph, not e anything easy but a combination of about three things that relate to each other. <laughs> 